Tchau! Fantastic. I think whenever a coach spends time with minor details with you, such as like footwork, especially with me, it really it punches at home more than if a high school coach or a club coach just told you to do it. Because yeah. you're trying to go to that D1 school, and so when they tell you to do something, it means a little bit more. And the practice is really intense, and it's, um, and then the two games just to wrap it up is really, really good. This is Gage with Connect Last. I'm here with Nick Daniello at the College Experience. So I've been to showcases, I've seen prospect days, this seems like it's got everything. I've seen hands-on experience, amazing competition, and it's sheeting rain outside, and we're inside warm at Chelsea Pierce. Yeah, yeah. So help me understand what this is. For this right now, I look at this kind of the kickoff event for the, for the fall season. Okay. I really look at it as a elite-level prospect day with great instruction. I think today, with the way the rules change, I mean, like, this is a great opportunity for kids to get constructive feedback to help get them where they need to be to play the next level in a small environment where there's 19 Division One coaches working with 40 kids on a, on a field, so you get a two-to-one player ratio there wow. and a lot of opportunity to, to really learn and grow and develop as a player while playing against great kids. And can you talk about the experience for parents, too? I know you have a recruiting seminar for all the parents, Q&A. Well, I think it's really important now because a lot of parents are kind of unsure of yep. new rules and how it's going to be. So I really wanted to make sure to kind of explain them what we've, what we've seen on, on our end. Um, was obviously our classes the last five years, we've had double-digit Division One recruiting classes wow. going through, um, starting all the way from our, our 2019 class all the way down to our 2015. We've had double digits. So it's been really remarkable the run that we've had. And I just want to share the parents' knowledge because I know a lot of parents are really stressed about what they feel they should be doing for, yep. their, for their son. And I kind of wanted to help alleviate some of that stress and help give them the advice of what I would tell them if I had a son. What is the, probably the biggest question you're getting from parents right now? Like, how does the how is this rule change really going to affect your coaches really waiting on you know, kids to wait lower? You know, what are they looking for? Yep. Um, kind of, you know, time timeline of how it works. Because people were so used to feeling the rush that they had to do, do, do stuff. And now it's kind of slowed down a little bit, gives them time. I think their big question is, you know, what can we expect going forward and how do we prepare for it? And I really feel that events like this are really good yep. um, environments for them because you're getting constructive feedback. And anywhere you can go where you have direct access to coaches, because uh, there's a million showcases out there and there's no guarantee a certain coach will be here. Here you know who's going to be here because these guys are working hard and working with the kids and really teaching them the fundamentals that they want to see when the time comes that they go to a, a competitive event so they know to better prepare for themselves. Definitely. So obviously having one field is key. So every coach is seeing every game. And then the clinic. So what's the structure of that? I mean, I've seen probably, what, six different groups here, obviously goalies, defense. I mean, it's pretty much just hands-on directly with, and so they can really build a rapport, see the personality of the player, maybe in a way they couldn't obviously at a, a, a large showcase or well, something. I think that's something that was really important. I just didn't want kids to show up and just be another name and number on a, on yep. a piece of paper. I think here, you know, you get hands-on experience. These guys are really working, interacting, so they get to see what type of character a kid has and kind of evaluate that. And also start to build a relationship because the lacrosse world is a relationship-driven business and relationship-driven. You know, guys you may have played with at a camp, back then. I've, talked, I've been to camps. I still see people who I yep. went to camp with as a, as a fifth grader back in the day. So I think this gives these kids a really opportunity to kind of learn and kind of bond with a coach and kind of see hey, like this is what these guys want and this is what they need to be. And like if I want to go here, like this is what they expect of me and like I had to step up my game to get here or this is what I want to do. Nice. And I also think it's a good environment too 
for the college coaches because each one of these guys are interacting. So for them, it's a benefit for them because they're getting new drills from different coaches. So we have everything broken up by position specific instruction. So it really works out. So the clinic is really, again, structured for a lot of reps in an hour period. So even though some people may think an hour is too short, when, when there's only, you know, 10 people. Well, a two to one ratio. Yeah, two to one ratio, yeah. yeah. So, you, so, so you have, you know, an hour, an hour thing. But if you're one of six guys doing the, the drill, it's like you're getting working hard because the way it's structured is, you know, two teams are practicing at one time. So while, while I'm doing the recruiting seminar, so there's really only 40 people on a field. So if you really look at it, if there's five five attackmen per team, or yep. four attackmen per team, there's 16 people there with three or four coaches working with them. So you're getting a lot of reps. Very valuable. Well, and in the, with the gameplay, too, it's not like these are 25-person rosters. and you're. Yeah. I mean, so it's very obviously quick and yeah. heavy subbing. It's quick. You get a lot of reps. You go yep. back, come back to back. The coaches have to coach the team. So the yep. kids get the understanding of, again, what they want and get the practice what they worked on. Because I think it's really important that the kids are able to correlate what they've done in the coaches practice on the field because I think that gives the coaches an understanding of hey could this kid understand this could he grip it or maybe he didn't understand something in the drill and they can explain it to him separately during the game got it all good things anything else you want to add no just a little bit of happen great to have you guys here and good stuff and, and we're dry and we're dry the beauty of Chelsea Pierce State of the Art Facility thank, thank you. you very much thanks Gage.